thought about this new organization and a few things that this group of inspiring people will bring to the table of Philippine pageantry. from Sash Factor. I've got three questions. I hope you don't mind. My first question is uh, to, to Ms. Leah Andrea Ramos. Uh, as we all know, you know, Miss Universe is all about women empowerment and advocacy. Now, as the head of Women Empowerment Committee and Charity, how would you ensure the authenticity of the advocacies of these candidates joining your pageant this year? That's a good question. Um, again, so as I mentioned, our focus is um, on the individual and developing Filipina leaders. Developing Filipina leaders. So this would be a stage for the individual candidates to um, to advance their personal advocacies, and we will be able. For us, our role is to provide them the platform, you know, to be able to speak their minds, and we'll be able to equip them. To, to really make an impact on on their communities. So I think it's not a question of authenticity. I think uh, I'd like to um, assume that every girl when they or every candidate when they join the pageant, you know, uh, apart from wanting to represent the country, well, we there is um, there's there's also this goal that you know they want to impact change in in their respective communities as we are involving the, the different communities now. So for us, what we do is we provide them the platform um, to be able to, to advance their, their uh, advocacies for us to equip them, uh, be leaders, uh, train them, provide them the training during the pageant, um, and, and be able to really impact change. It's not a one-day thing uh, where we would be, you know, uh, doing something for photo ops. Uh, what we are looking for is something that's more sustainable, something that will have an impact, and we will be working hand-in-hand -hand with different organizations as well as the, the, the candidates and the winner on how to advance these advocacies. Okay, thank you. My second question. Oh. <laughs> it has your age limit. <laughs> Okay, my second question is, um, as we all know, communication skills is a very important aspect of winning Miss Universe nowadays. Now, um, I don't know who to address this question, to Miss Shamsi or to Miss to Sernad. Um, um, will, there be, will you be, as, a, as the one who trains these girls in this aspect of the competition, would you be improving or would you be changing some ways in terms of uh, techniques into improving our girls' chances in this aspect alone? Um, when, when we started training in 2001, it would always have been innovation as one of our principles because if you get stuck with a certain technique and it's no longer updated or some of the fit with the times, then you really have to change it. So now we've seen a lot of changes in this universe, so definitely, Adam, we're going to have some innovations in the way that we approach and in the way that we train our girls. I see. Okay, my follow-up question to that is that um, if that's the case, um, would we expect some major changes in the production format of Miss Universe Philippines such that there will... But in the Miss Universe pageant, there yes. are three segments of Q&A now with the opening statement, the <laughs> final question and answer, and the closing statement. So will we expect the same format in this, in this year's maiden edition? Okay, our creative director can answer that, Papa Jay, please. Um, we are still finalizing how we will do that, but during the competition, 
during the course of the pageant from February when we uh, introduced the candidates to till March and April, they will be training. And then there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of talking about the final. So during the finals, there are still students. But I think what's important is for people to know who the candidates are first from the very beginning, and then we will follow their journey. More or less, they have a grasp of who should represent the Philippines well in the international competition. That we will be very, very, um, we will we'll put it out there. So people can know the girl more, and we'll be able to, parang, we will be able to really digest or think of who is the best representative the girl, the, the, the organization, or the judges, Shepard, we have judges, who will choose the next Miss Universe Philippines. During the finals, of course, we have introductions. And then we have their personal introductions, kung sino man ang mapipili, top 20 or top 15. And then the normal swim student evening gown. And then you have the personal interview. And then the Q&A, which is very important. Okay, thank you. I think also we need the personal interview because um, it's nice to have to know the girl on stage, not only off stage. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Yes, hello. Good afternoon. Uh, to get into pageantry with Miss Universe Building, and what are your plans for the pageant this year as partners? Uh, okay, perfect. Because I was just about to add from, from what George has said. Actually, uh, uh, it's actually. Based on what Sam said, it's the full trust. Paano ba pinili yung mga pillars ng the organization and all? It's actually front row's full trust kay Jonas. The way uh, when we were chatting with Paula, the way Paula trusted front row, the way the MUO trusted Jonas, it's actually a relationship ng, ng front row with Miss Universe organization and Miss Universe Philippines is actually based on that. In fact, um, we didn't even have to ask Jonas mo, sino gagawin mong national director? Gusto namin ganito. Sino yung sa, ano mo, sino sa council? Pag-check mo muna sa amin kung approve mo. Sino, ano ba yung mga APAP na yan? Diba? Sabi namin kay Jonas, sa amin ay unanimously, Jonas, we know you, we've known you ever since, we trust you. We'll just be here. Kahit ka wala kami dito sa press ko, eh, basta hindi ko lang kami hatabi mo, para alam mo na parati, whatever it is that you need from us, front row, and dito kami to provide. Thank you. And we have our last question. Good afternoon to everybody. I am Ikan Gonzac Shalom Mayo Sandar. 